Hey everyone, Matt here, rcgroups.com, and in this tutorial I'm going to demystify the act of updating the firmware on an RV OSD5. Um, I say it like that because it's not as easy as plugging in a USB and, you know, um, hitting a button on your computer. You have to use what's called a Picket 2 which is available through RV, excuse me, which is available through Range Video for about $30 to physically update each side, the graphics board and the main board by putting these pins in um, right here. So, you know, it's, it's not exactly the easiest thing. Once you do it once, you know what you're doing, but there's a number of steps involved. The first being, you might as well take an X-Acto knife and cut out these little cut out so you can see these pins through the heat shrink because uh, you won't be able to update it if you don't. So once that's done, we'll put this down. We need to download the latest software for the Picket 2. Uh, if you go to Range Video, go down to their forums, then go down to a thread that's sticky called the latest firmware version for your OSD. Then there you can find all the information. You don't have to listen to me drone on about updating it, but sometimes it's more fun to listen instead of read. So. First thing you'll do is uh, go down and, and upload the latest Picket software, which is available by clicking on the link here. So we'll go down, because we're updating a uh, version 5, not a version 5.1 board, uh, we'll go down to the version 5 section in the thread. We will download the hex files, which have the firmware updates in them. Once that's done, we will, and we've downloaded the Picket software, which is available also as a link there. What we'll do is we'll plug in the Picket 2, like so, and we will insert it into the video board, graphics board, like this, and we'll make sure there's positive pressure on it, and we'll just hold it here. So I'll close this window. I'm here in the Picket 2 programmer that I opened up. And we'll go to File, Import Hex, and we'll scroll down to the graphic board for this video board here. So we'll go to Graphic, Open, and then it says Warning, some configuration words not in the hex file, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about it. You want to hit the word Write and just wait and it says programming memory sometimes it'll freeze up sometimes it won't let's see if it'll get all the way through and we're through and it's going to say that verification of configuration failed not true we're done with that one so we'll take this one out go to the other side stick in the picket 2 like so. Make sure there's positive pressure. Just let it lean off to the side so all the pins have contact. And we're going to go File, uh, Import Hex, scroll down to the main board file. Open. Same thing. Right. Here we go. And we are done. And it says programming successful. That's okay. First one said there was a problem. There isn't. It says this in, in range videos forums that it will say that. So we can go ahead and close this out now. And we're done. Now when we fire up this board, it's going to ask us for a code. You need to email range video or Alex via for the code. And this is to prevent people from taking his code and mass producing these things. So, so that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and show you the, the code update, make sure everything's updated and verify here in just a second. So stand by.